All right, guys, we are here at the Speed Duel Showdown number 55 finals. We have Ursus and Tetra, but guess what? The decks are radically different. This has been such an enjoyable showdown because we officially implemented the YCS limited list. No more moths. 11 people today, no moths. Ursus and Tetra proving they're good duelists and they don't need those cards anyway. Ursus playing Cyber Angels today, not playing Ritual Ceremony. That card got absolutely nuked into the ground by Konami. Uh, and Tetra's playing, oh, oh Joey Beatdown. I think Tetra's playing, so interesting decks. Also in the bronze match, we have Neshi with Crystal Beast. How about that? So maybe we'll catch a little bit of that at the end. Be cool to see him top three. He's playing against Ron Wiz, uh, who's playing TP Burn-ish. Let's go to main screen. Yeah, so this, I mean, this combo for Ursus works pretty much the same. Really, the only difference is, like, he's got the Alexis skill in here, which does some synergy with Cyber uh, Angels. And he's got, like, Sonic Bird now to get another Machine Angel Ritual. It's like Ritual Ceremony really helped you get those pieces quickly, but uh, it's just not viable anymore, so. Luckily, Cyber Angel has some support within it. And then, yeah, I'm just going to attack is the skill from Tetra with Joey. It uh, negates a Battle Trap and gives something 100 attack, I think. Just like good beatdown stuff. Okay. So we had to send you open over the Ursus. Unfortunately, go and turn one stuff. Banisher of the Radiance, though. The walking Macrocosmos. That's actually going to be a problem for Ursus, especially with Machine Angel Ritual going to the Banish. Uh, so there goes Senju. And with the special summon Cyber Dragon. Wow, it's not looking good for Ursus. Uh, we have to get some combos off here. This is where we got to make the play. That was 700 coming from the Cyber Dragon to the Senju, and then 16 to the face with Banisher. There's the bird. Going to see the Machine Angel Ritual start. We interrupt this for some math. And also my dog was staring at me to uh, be let out. All right, here comes the ritual. Do we have the uh, the damage? Going to put it all out here. Ooh, Ursus taking a gamble going out to 600 with the Cosmic Cyclone to hit that back row. Book of Moon, okay. Oh, Chain Book of Moon on the uh, on the Cyber Dragon. All right, yeah, that's tough. Eat it in. And bird, but Eaton was tributed, so it doesn't really matter where it goes. It still buffs Izana. Uh, we got to slam into that banisher. Get that out of here. It's going to be a difference of 19. Uh, but Machine Angel Ritual already in the banished, and also Eaton, no opportunity to reshuffle something back with like the skill for Alexis. That's tough. Oh, and it makes a second attack. That's right, it makes a second attack. So we take 19 and we lose both monsters. So Ursus hanging on to this uh, Izana. This is pretty much all he's got right now. 600 life points, one card in hand. set from Tetra. I'm trying to think of what takes us off the field on, in Tetra's deck. Um, yeah, we're a little scared. Want to hang on to this? Is it one, just 1,000? Yeah, it's 1,000 attack defense. So that's a 36 defense Izana. And I think, yeah, Ursus just kind of like wants to build a hand back up, which is fair.
on Tetra. Tetra going to get a pretty good board set up here while Ursus is uh, licking his wounds. But is it, are there anything that's going to be able to get Zahn off the field? Tetra Math. Anything, any burn piece for Tetra wins. Any Nightmare Wheel. Did we see him? Lava Golem? Rock? No. No, he's playing, he played Neshi last game. Oh, Charging Guy. Okay, that comes out of 19, and we're just going to keep it there. Sure. Okay, a little bit of play coming through here. No Banishers, so stuff can actually go to the grave again. Tribune Ben 10 for Izan Yeah, or Ida 10. Kind of getting like a little baby hand back up after uh, taking that serious... Uh, that beat down from Tetra. Ben 10 is going to get you your light... Fairy monster. Sheen Angel Ritual. Here comes Senju getting another ritual monster from deck to hand. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna have a little mini combo come back here. There's another Izana. And this there's nothing wrong with this Izana that's currently out. It's a 35-36. Versus just needed to uh, wait. Okay, Edithin for Edithin is gonna buff everything. That Izana's at 45 now. 45-46, Edithin at 26-3. No. Wall disruption not looking scary at all anymore. Machine Angel Ritual again. Edithin for Izana. Buffing again a 55 Izana and a 35 Izana. And also Izana's effect coming through. Um, you make your opponent set a spell trap to control of the grave. And yeah. This looks scary. I don't know how Tetra gets out of this, even though Ursus only has 600. Wall disruption gone, yeah. So, there is one out here. It's Lava Golem. Well, there's, there's probably a couple outs if we're looking at the whole library. But Lava Golem is the most realistic if Tetra has it. Uh, that's gonna... Can we, like, stay alive first? Into the 19 charging Gaia. That's 36. You gotta stop the attack. Survive. I think you survived the other one, but yeah, 36. Wow. That's huge. All right, going to game two. Ursus up one. Cyber Angels. Can do that combo twice and get away with it. Five attack he's on is rare probably because the game's usually over before then. Or like if you you usually don't get that opportunity to bring come back like that. Game two. <clears throat> Sides are in. Do we put Lava Golems in? If you live that long. Ursus opener. We got Bird to start. 
I think uh, what we saw in the in the bracket, I think it makes sense for him to, if he's got the whole combo, even though he's turn one, to just do it because you're avoiding floodgates. So Ben 10, Izana, we get Machine Angel Ritual coming out, and we get another Edison from Ben 10. Here comes the Alexis skill, Machine Angel Ascension. We're going to be able to discard a spell. We're discarding the Cosmic Cycle, not applicable right now, to get another uh, Machine Angel piece. Or Cyber Angel piece. There's the Mar, Bird, and Edaton for Izana. Edaton being tributed buffs both things. We have our 35 Izana, 26 Edaton, and that is the play. That is the loop. So now we see if, if Tetra just lava bombs him. Like, I think we saw Ron do that last time. <laughs> No match result from Bronze, so sounds like Neshi and Ron are still duking it out. Okay, Savage Dragon to start. We start swinging. That's the other bad thing about getting Zana out turn one is you can't have him send anything. Okay, keeping these on in defense just in case things go sour. Twenty six hundred Edaton going into twenty one hundred Cyber Dragon difference of five. How bad does Tetra want to keep this monster? Gonna happen. Take it five. Oh yeah, definitely. Ursus playing around the wall once means Tetra doesn't have it. Full back row for Tetra. Ursus one game away from winning this finals. It's a $58 pot tonight. Send you three attacks. Send you getting yourself another monster. Another Izana. But uh, three opportunities to attack, but that means bigger wall, though, if uh, Tetra does have all disruption. Mind Crush going to hit Izana here. That's really good side from Tetra. Yeah. Ritual fizzles out. Yeah, that's tough. Could have buffed some things some more with uh, Edaton here. But we're going for 26 straight to Tetra's face. We actually have lethal here. We don't necessarily need Azana. So wall disruption is going to hit everything that's an attack. And it's going to hit you for 24. But it looks like we're going to book a moon Edaton. Ooh, that, fall, that uh, makes the attack buff fall off. Oh, do you, uh... Yeah. There's no way to stop. <laughs> we still get 14 coming in from Senju. Um, don't see a reason to stop that one. Especially if it's wall, because you probably want to wall the scary guys. Yeah. Touch down to 21. Hmm. 
god, Tetra, what do you got? What do you got? Ursus seems to be very solidly in the driver's seat. Uh, this whole match, what do you got? Cyber Dragon coming out and followed by Charging Gaia. Are we just going to attack Charging Gaia? Bump it up to two. Cyber Dragon into Edaton. Just going to beat over that defense from the Book of Moon. And Charging Gaia into Senju. Difference of six with Gaia going up to, 20, uh, to 2,000. Izana is still a nightmare, though. It's a 3,500. And now we have monsters to attack. Not quite lethal, but we're going to be able to do some damage here. Battle phase. Wall disruption, though? <laughs> Not as ideal. Okay, he had two Book of Moons. Okay, it's targeting. We get to shuffle. Being targeted, you get the shuffle. And uh, if you do destroy a card your opponent controls on Gaia, that's... Pretty good. That's pretty good. Izana's got some utility. And Izana's buff falls off, so it's not going to be uh, up a 1,000. That's a 25-26, I think. So Cyber Dragon can't get over it, even with Joey. Yeah. I think Ursus has got this locked down, unless we see more monsters from Tetra. Or we see Wall Disruption would be uh, scary now. His wall of disruption drops, even if Izana is the only monster there, it drops Izana into the danger zone for like charging Gaia and uh, Dragon. Just had a cosmic set. Hit the wall. Oh wow. Yeah, that's uh, pretty lucky. Good hit though. Like I said, wall disruption would have brought Izana down to 18, 17, and that would have been not that helpful. But Izana with no wall in its way, gonna beat over this <laughs> two cosmic cyclones. Yeah, Ursus runs three. Uh, yeah, that's a difference of four. And now Tetra just trying to top deck a monster, but even. If we do, it's not really going to help us. Izana is just a, a boss right now. Judging Gaia. Okay. Stay alive. Cosmic Cyclone again. He's got the third. There's the third Cosmic. Ursa's going down to 1,400. We have the uh, life points for it. We're going to hit that back row. Zoma. Okay. Zoma. Yeah, that would have been that would have been pretty terrifying. Sonic Bird with the difference from Izana. We have lethal. He's not even bothering getting the uh, ritual spell. Do we have? Yeah, all three Mars are in graveyard. We don't even have a ritual spell. We just this is just another attack for lethal. That's it. I think we got a nurse's victory here in the finals. Cyber Angels reign supreme. Did we get confirmation of the bronze? No, we didn't. Let's see if they're still playing. All right, guys. There you have it. Your speed will show to number 55. Finalist, your first place. Ursus with Cyber Angels. We made it work with that ritual ceremony. Looks good. Uh, this skill works just well, just fine. And the core hasn't been touched by the by the limited list, so looks good. Tetra, second place with Joey Beatdown. Not bad, too. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and see if we still got bronze. Well, no. Who won bronze? Who won bronze? We got we know? Now she's still streaming. I'll raid you. Uh, yes, you are. I'll ask him. Uh, I'll ask him when we raid him because he was playing against Ron. I didn't see the match results. But guys, that's it for me. Speed Duel Shunner number fifty-five. Thank you guys so much. Um, I think that this is uh, this has been this has been a healthy change. I'm glad that we finally moved to limited. I was I was stubborn. 
Um, but this limited list, the decks are fun to see. It's definitely a breath of fresh air. Um, people are actually using Paradox stuff, which tells me that it's it's doing well. So um, you got it, Neshi? You top three? All right, sweet. We're going to raid you in a second. Um, but that's awesome. We got Crystal Beast in top three. Uh, so uh, that's good to see. So our, your top three is Cyber Angels, Joey B-Town, Crystal Beast. That's much healthier than three moths. You got the replay? Oh, you streamed it. You streamed it. I'll check it out. That's awesome. All right. Slash Raid Neshi Beast. Everybody uh, hang out with this guy. He played well today. Third place. Thank you guys so much. That's it for me. Uh, this will be out this week. I'm on top of it now. We'll get decklist on Patreon. Patreon.com slash League. Catch you guys later. See ya.